busy A49 in Winnick in Warrington that we find ourselves in the grounds of the archaic church of St Oswald's. My name's James Barm, history columnist for Cheshire Life and welcome to History Walks. Now the Church of St Oswald stands here in the village of Winnick in Cheshire and believe me it's on the National Registers for England. It's also a Grade 1 listed building. The fact that the church has stood here since ancient times has been recorded in the Doomsday Book and the earliest parts of St Oswald's date right back to the 13th century. The West Tower that we see today was built in the year 1358 and further building work was carried out right throughout the church and up to the 16th century. But it was the English Civil War that would have a profound and damaging effect on St Oswald's when Oliver Cromwell himself stationed his troops here following the Battle of Red Bank. Throughout the 18th century and beyond, the church was renovated and returned to the condition that we see today. To each side of the main entrance we see a statue, one of St Oswald and one of St Anthony with his pig. These are believed to be replacements following the damage and maybe the destruction of the original statues during the English Civil War. But one very famous claim to fame for St Oswald's was the links to the Titanic. For it was here in this very church on Thursday the 13th of January 1887 that one Edward Smith, captain of the Titanic, married his wife to be Sarah Eleanor Pennington. RMS Titanic sank in the early hours on the 15th of April 1912 in the North Atlantic Ocean. Being married here in January 1887, Edward Smith could never have known the fate that awaited him. Quite unusual and unique, we find stones in this graveyard that often have the words two breaths written on them. Now then, I'm led to believe that this means that two bodies were laid side by side instead of on top of each other. Now due to the current lockdown situation for churches across England, it's not been possible to enter the church today to take a look at the glorious interior. However, Fear not, for TV presenter for history will return later in the year to take a look around for ourselves. It's just amazing how much history surrounds us and to think the history that this church has seen, notable events in British history. From Cromwell and the English Civil War through to the wedding of the captain of the Titanic, St Oswald's has certainly seen history. Why not join us again soon as we take another history walk across Cheshire? <laughs>